I'm Andrea Stolpe, and I'm excited to bring you another tools and tips um, specifically for the songwriter. Um, one uh, problem that I myself have, co-writers I've had in the past have, and a lot of songwriters that I work with uh, through the online courses express, is music often comes uh, via inspiration. We dump a lot of it out onto the page or onto the recorder quickly and it's there and it's, it's beautiful in, in its entirety sometimes. And then we have this daunting task of trying to match words to that uh, melodic and harmonic e e color that we've created. Start to believe, or just try it on for a week, that what you say when you answer the question, what do I want to write about? What do I really want to say? What do I want my listener to know at the end of this song? What do I believe? What does this music sound like it's trying to say? And then talk about that. Don't try to write lyric, but talk about it. Talk again into a, a recorder, or if you're more comfortable writing that down or typing it, stream of consciousness writing. Um, to get over this fear that, oh no, now I have to put on my lyric writing hat and I have to sound clever, poetic, I have to use metaphor, uh, and I have to write you know, something that's to the level of this beautiful musical experience I don't want to mar. Um, that's a lot of pressure. So uh, one thing that we might do is record uh, the music. And uh, maybe it's just you and your guitar. Maybe it's just guitar. Um, maybe it's uh, uh, just a vocal line that you really love. Whatever it is, record it, and then let yourself experience it almost as if it was given to you as a piece of music that you, you, you are going to now feel. What is it trying to say? You might think about, I don't, if I had to describe this in terms of some adjectives, what would that be? Is it reflective? Is it uh, uh, expressing a sense of grief? Is there, is there a, a dark or a tainted color to it? What's going on harmonically? Does it turn at a certain point where you know, maybe um, you're dealing with a, um, a relationship in, in a verse section where there's sort of a minor tonality and moves into the relative major in the chorus. So there's a lift there that you feel. Make any notes of, of of, of how you're feeling and see, see if you can then start to do your destination writing or your object writing or just sensory free writing while you're listening. And it's very important, again, don't judge whether it will be good lyric or not, how valuable the ideas are, um, don't rhyme, don't structure it in a lyric form, but just write, write, write. When you're finished, you might set it aside for a week. Don't think about it. Bring it back read your writing and any little phrase that popped out at you any word that seemed to sparkle or really ring true you could use that you, certainly as lyric there might be 10 or 15 of those phrases or you could jump off of any one of those images that popped out for you and do your destination writing or object writing around that idea i think as songwriters again we make it so hard we feel like it's got to be right you know, gosh, I can't say anything like, I am driving up 85 in the first line, which by the way is a huge song by John Mayer. Would you ever think, oh, that's the best line. I gotta write that down. Of course not. Allow yourself to be as natural when you write lyric as you are when you're talking to someone who really cares and is interested in what you have to say. You know, you're not gonna just say hi, bye, fine, you know those acquaintance type of conversations. I'm talking about really delving into something that matters and exposing vulnerability. And then we take those phrases, you can lift those phrases directly from that writing and massage them into place. If you've got prepositions like uh, if, and, but, with, behind, before, uh, prepositions, conjunctions, you can take those, shove them, erase them, shove the lyric around, change a verb uh, like walking to we walked to give yourself more uh, potential to change a stress pattern from walking, strong week, to we walked, week strong. So you're gonna just try to kind of mold, chip away like you're, you're chiseling a, a, a beautiful statue and have some uh, flexibility while you're putting this into place. And don't spend four hours on the first two lines. 
be okay, setting it in place, and then letting the song uh, sort of tumble forward. And, and you can always go back later, but trust your first impression. <laughs>